here is Magard coming out with that left head kick. What Magard does so well is move his feet. When he's moving his feet back and forward and controlling distance, he, he's phenomenal. If he allows Josh to control the distance of this fight, could have a hard time ducking under nicely. Nice read there from Josh with the uppercut, trying to deter Jonas from the shot. Be interesting to see. You see the size difference, though, from Magard straight away. For me, that's something. Getting him to bite on those feints early as he backs up. Yeah, this for me, very similar to the Gustavo Lopez. A lot of people felt that the, the experience Lopez was bringing in would be too much for Magar, but he answered those questions emphatically, getting that second round finish. And, and you've got to remember, Jonas was preparing for a title fight, preparing for a five-round fight against the man that beat him in Lima, so he's going to be more prepared than he's ever been to, to make a statement, because when you lose the way he did, he, he's got to come in and prove himself. He's got a switch of opponent, a change of position on the card, everything's changed, but he still has that intention. You know, he has a lot to fight for here tonight. Yeah, he said he was actually quite happy to be lower the card. It's a long time waiting when you are consistently the main or the co-main event, but that's the caliber, that's the uh, oof. That's the, uh, the position he's earned with his performances. Again, I'd like to see Jonas set up that right hand a little bit better, use though that, that jab. He's so uh, effective with the jab when he goes high and low. Needs to be careful getting close in the distance so quickly. Josh Hill, though, switch of stance. Yeah. Josh Hill, but he, you can see he's not very comfortable from that southpaw, the southpaw stance. Maybe it's those calf kicks early from Jonas setting this up. Yeah, he's circling to the power hand now, going away from it. But Josh jo looks wary early, looks, looks worried already. I think this pressure from Jonas, nice right hand land, stepped into that beautifully, set, it up, set that one up much, much better with the feints. Always trying to counter there. And Josh Hill oozes experience. So although he's getting the read and trying to get an understanding, you know, that amount of data that he's collected over the, that, that emphatic career, that brilliant career on some of the biggest promotions in the world, that will all pay dividends. Nice light left hand landed from Jonas there, stalking his man. Needs to make sure he cuts off the cage and not letting him out. The switching stance there as well. But you can see, again, the switch of stance from Josh. That's definitely happening because of the calf kick. He's thrown a couple, Jonas. And that might set up with the right hand on the angle if Jonas decides to step left. Again, controlling this cage well, has the center. This is what I expected from Jonas, but needs to stay switched on at the end of the combinations. Oh. Yeah, oh. Overzealous there, but has the neck. Guillotine is Jonas's move. Bullies his man down, though, and gets into this half butterfly, butterfly position. Yeah, made his debut in Bratislava, beat Elna Vileev by second round guillotine. That was a way to make a statement in his entrance into the promotion since then. Has claimed the bantamweight title not once, but twice, beating the likes of Macek. Gustavo nope. Lopez Cartwright on that way. It's, it's a phenomenal record he's built. And you look from the start of when he entered here into this promotion to where he is now, the evolution of him as a martial artist as well can't be underestimated, right? His, his growth, every single fight is something special. And particularly for me, that last fight against Cartwright just showed how good he is. When well, this is where he originally began, he used to be a fighter that gets the takedown, gets on top, stays in the guard. You know, this is this is where he feels home. Then he grew as a, as a striker, grew with footwork, grew with hands. And we saw that as he took the title. You know, he's definitely cat carries on growing, but for me, his confidence and the way he, he carries himself has completely changed, and, and that's where he's getting the performances that he's getting. But here seems extremely comfortable. Josh Hill doing the right thing on the bottom, an experienced grappler looking to try and get that foot on the hip of Magard, but I feel like the size, the strength of Magard is going to be very difficult to set something up here. He's very experienced in these positions and comfortable. And trying to lace that arm and look for a, maybe a triangle set up on a more plateau. Josh Hill, though. He's a personal trainer by day, always in fantastic shape. But this is wearing, right? This type of uh, pressure that Magar brings. Beautiful step over as well, a pass there from Magar. D attempted it once and did it again. Shoulder pressure with that right arm. Has that deep, look at how the hand is he's utilizing that for the posture. Great work, creates some distance. And in complete control here, looks so comfortable and relaxed. Not forcing anything either, Luke. That's that's the other evolution we've seen. Just he's he's very heated and can be animated. You saw it at the start of the fight going up, but holding that composure now in in certain positions is benefiting his uh, fighting style for sure. Well, that's why I, I, he needs to make sure that he does. And he, he did. He was a bit overzealous in that first round, first opening and trying to go for that right hand and got caught with a shot. Settled himself back down. It's the change of range. He, need, he needs to understand. Once he's on the ground in these positions, this is this is his world. He feels very comfortable. Josh now trying to maybe impress the judges a little bit as the round ends. Off we go, round number two, Magard, red corner, Hill in the blue. 
Now Hill was trying to counter strike a little there. When you're the shorter guy, Luke, and, and most of your opponents have been the shorter guys trying to get on the inside of you, what, what are the keys to do that? Well, he needs to set it up, and he does. He needs to do more of what Jonas does, and Jonas does it so well. That shutter step that he utilizes with the right hand. If he tries to throw, which I'm sure he will again, and he landed it in the first round, he faints well, and then he shutter steps forward and launches that right hand. We, from Hill, or meets him well. That's what Jonas doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to close the distance so so fast with no setup, with no control of the distance. He needs to, to set it up better. Josh wants that, and he's going to meet him with a counter. The, the game that Hill has is the counter game. He likes to wait for you to make a mistake, and then he lands. So he'll throw, you know, little shots, little shots to draw you in. You can throw something big. He moves out the way, and he lands something big of his own. That's how he fights, uh, and Jonas needs to be more educated with these setups. Nice little block there, as he's still in the southpaw stance now again. To Josh, I, I'm not sure how this is helping him at the moment. I think it's I think it's through those leg kicks. I think it's an adjustment due to uh, the leg being compromised rather than a strategic thing, Luke. Yeah, it was close. That's so that, with that left hand switches back to the normal stance. See if Jonas goes back to that calf kick. Nice shot to the body. He needs to move his feet for me a little bit more, Jonas. He seems a little bit flat footed. Gets caught there with the calf kick because of it. But controlling the distance and, and bossing Josh as I expected. And Josh, oh, Josh coming from that wrestling background, we saw a lot of top control from Jonas. Would you like to see Josh maybe look for, for some form of takedown, see what we can do on top of Yeah, or maybe even threaten it. That's a way you can you can deal with this forward pressure. Oh, a nice right hand to the body again. I, I imagine he's going to come up high now with that. We might see that shot, a step right hand that he likes to throw. There's that feint. There it is. Beautiful work. These, these are all setting up. Maybe going to give him, a, him an out on the right side. There it is. Goes to the body again. Yeah, trying to work as well again, feeding that right hand. But he would have read that time. Hill dropped his hand, dropped the left hand on that attempt. So maybe there we go. There you go. So there's the shot, the right hand. That's what Jonas does so well uh, with that wrestling background. That's how you set up a double leg. You shot a step in, you close the distance so fast, and you can drive through with a double. He uses that shot a step so well to set up the right hand. And that one over the top. Doesn't want to be out like that. That was a lazy kick from Jonas, and that's what Josh is good at. Good at meeting you when you come forward and you leave your hands in the wrong position and you get caught. But Josh is running well, he's out of threatening ideas. The spin. He's threatening the spin there, Josh. Oh, he gets one back. Jonas fires it first. Yeah, spinning hook kick. And you're talking about staying switched on and, you know, throwing with intent. But right now, it's kind of turning into a touch sparring match, right? How do you keep the mentality? What, what's the key for even the corner to help Jonas or even Josh stay switched on in this moment? I mean, they're both very, very good work there with the movement. They're both switched on, but I feel like Josh is, is trying to find the opening. And they need to need to throw more. They need to be not so worried about not landing. Oh, yeah. there, time that takedown beautifully. You said about that change of dynamic of the fight. And this is his background. Beautiful scramble up, though, from Jonas now attacking the, the, the grip with two on one. Has managed to, to free himself. See some explosion here from Jonas. Can't be waiting. Needs to turn his hips to the left or the right. Or gets oh. caught with a nice left hook. That from Josh. Probably the best movement and work from Josh so far in this fight. And did something different, but look, just urge that on from Jonas. He wants to take down now as well. Oh. Yeah, trying to show Josh that he can wrestle too. I feel like he should go back to those feints and go back to that jab to the body. It was working so well for him. Look at his lead leg now as well. The car for Jonas McGuire wearing some of those leg kicks. He switches stances. Moving into the final minute of the second round. Again, Jonas preparing for a five-round fight, so it should be in phenomenal shape for this three-rounder here. 50 seconds left. This is for me when Jonas needs to attack. Josh does not look comfortable in that southpaw stance completely defensively. This is where you vary up to the body, go to the head, and be a little bit more active on the feet. He's the one who said he wanted a stand-up war. He, he, he's get, getting that now. Doesn't want to dive in naked there. You know, completely open, and Josh has those big overhands. Some sort of I think there was a, connection with the eye. Yeah, I think the thumb just caught the eye. Josh just shakes it off straight back to work for both these guys. Final 30 seconds of round number two. Maybe look for Jonas to establish this round as well in the final 20. It's been a close round. One good connection could change the judge's mind. They're in and out, and that's, that's what I like, when he moves his feet. When he comes in, lands the shot, and moves out. That's where he's the most effective. He needs to be a bit lighter on his feet. Gets caught with that calf kick again. 
Doing a, oh, went for the cartwheel kick. There we go. For Josh now, he needs to come out with urgency, everything in it to get this finish in the third round. Jonas in complete control. Yeah, Jonas looked, looked up at the scorecard, a little smile as he came out for round number three. He had the third and final round of this bantamweight contest. And again, title connotations for sure. Jonas was supposed to be fighting Lima in that rematch to try and reclaim his belt. And I feel like, yeah, title connotations for sure. But for Jonas right now, he needs to try and look to finish this guy because, you know, he's an unknown quantity here. But Jonas is known. Jonas, a former champion, wants to fight and reclaim that title. It's an open title now. Definitely deserves it. But he needs to prove that to Andre Novotny and the Octagon Brass here at the moment. And he needs to look for blood because they're, they're, what we want here is entertaining fights, entertaining champions, oh. finishes. The, I think the nose is broken of, uh, of Josh. I just saw him circle around and one of those shots from, uh, from Jonas has certainly caused some blood, but it looks like a, a slight misshape on the bridge of that nose as well, Luke. I mean, 28 fight veteran, that could be for a, a lot of fights. But yeah, I agree. It looks like he's landing very, very well, like a laser at the moment. Jonas with that left hand, drifting to the left, maybe going to try and throw that right. There you see it. Look at the condition he's in as well, Jonas. Still throwing with pop, looking light and relaxed. And from Josh, we, we need to see something, right? This is the debut. 2017, there were talks of him coming to this promotion. He's been keeping an eye on us. But like um, you said, in deep waters, been, been, been given the opportunity, but... No, not an easy fight to come here and, and enter, but he's two rounds below. Needs more of that. That's what we need to see more of. And he, the, the, if you know you're two rounds down as well, whether he's looked at the scores or not, it's all to play for and there's almost nothing to lose, right? Step in and three minutes to change the, uh, the momentum of this fight now. And he did a much better job in the second and that double leg, beautiful defensive balance, completely off the ground. At one moment there was Jonas Magard, but floated into a great position and gets this wizard now up against the fence. But again, for, for, for Jonas, he's, he knows he's winning, but would like to see a little bit more activity from him. Two minutes, 50 seconds, Josh Hill now with Jonas against the cage. Been unable to close the distance in this respect throughout the first two rounds. Easily gets up the fence there. A nice elbow on the break. And there shows the crafty veteran. Slick skills. He just needs to put them together a little bit more, does Josh? Needs more output. Those feints are working, getting bites off those feints. Need to follow him up with something. I'd like to see maybe a double jab right hand from Jonas. Doesn't matter which if he misses with the first two, but land with that oh, jump knee. Me. Good idea, seeing the level changes coming out of Hill. Such confidence in the eyes of the shark. But now he's the one getting bullied around. He's on the back foot. Needs to take control of the real estate again. He does so, trying to at the moment. They're going to battle over it. Josh backs him up. Now Jonas, a little look up at the clock then. They're definitely the best round for Josh Hill so far, this one. Just in momentum and, and movement and control. Not so much in damage or landing shots, just the intention coming out of him. We see with those hooks that he was throwing and, and his positioning in the, in the cage. Not much nice. better. Slip. Again from Magard. Nice snap on that. Oh, big right hand just misses, but had some heat on it, that one. The crowd now trying to urge the final one minute, 15 seconds of this fight to raise the energy, bring the momentum. Again, Jonas dealing with this veteran extremely well, controlling this fight, but we expect a little bit more from the former champion if he wants to fight for that title again. Nice jab and right hand lands. We'd like him to follow that up. We know he has venom. We know he has knockout ability. We know he has, you know, precision on his hands when he tries to throw them. He's, he's really not putting them together, maybe because of that threat of that takedown. Beautiful stand up and nice spinning back fist lands as well. Blood now coming on the face. Josh keeps hold, the nose. Yeah, holding his hand right to the uh, the cheekbone. I'm not sure if the orbit has been compromised at all. Switches stance again now, healing that southpaw. Nice step in, switch from right hand. Five misses. Final 25 seconds. Crowd now. here behind the shark. Snapping, trying to read that entry. 
I read that low kick perfectly again, going for a spin attack. What balance. Acrobatics there from Jonas. Oh, and again for the cartwheel kick. Definitely wants that picture, doesn't he? There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how judges score this fight. All three judges score this fight 13-27 in favor of the winner by unanimous decision. Jonas Shark Magard!